I'm pretty excited about this tumble I'm about to start. Uh, this is a large piece of crazy lace agate, and I actually have another one that I'll do in another video. Um, this one might be even better, I'm not sure. Um, this is a, a gift from Sean at the Rock Shed. Um, I kind of send a lot of business his way just because I'm a happy customer there. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I, like I said, I'm just a happy customer. So I've been sending him business and he's realized that and uh, gave me a couple rocks as a thank you. So thanks, Sean, for that. Uh, this is going to be tumbled in a 12 pound Lortone barrel uh, and as you can see it just barely fits in there so it's uh, it's practically if I stand up like that it sticks out the top so it needs to be cut down to size before I start uh, originally I was going to hack off like an end here and keep this chunkier part down here and then I started looking at it and there's this big concave part right here those parts don't tumble very well, so I'm going to eliminate that by cutting off this little corner here, right, right across where my finger is there. And then I'll probably take a little bit off this end too, just so it can move around in the barrel. I'm not too concerned, as long as it fits in here and has a little space on both ends, I'll put some smaller rocks in with it. Um, as long as it can move a little bit, I think it's going to be okay. And if I ever decide I need to cut more off it, I can always do it later. Um, can't put any more back on. So, um, it's, it's late at night right now, it's dark outside, so tomorrow I'm going to run outside, cut this off, I'll show you how I do that, and then we'll load it up in the barrel, and uh, this is going to be a, a long process, I think. I may end up using a grinder on it to speed things up along the way, uh, but I'm going to tumble it for a few weeks first just to kind of see how it's going. Once I get a feel for the rock, um, I'll decide if I'm going to make any other moves on it. So, uh, tomorrow we'll cut this, so stick around. I've got the ends lopped off, so now this fits in here pretty nicely. It's got maybe two or three inches to spare on the top. Um, you know, if I move it up to the middle, it's going to be a little bit of room for some rocks in the bottom, some rocks in the top. So I've decided I'm going to run this with uh, more crazy lace. That's what's in here. Um, this I actually got this summer. I stopped by a lapidary place in uh, it's Norway, Michigan. It's in the UP. Uh, it's called Kingsley North, and they have uh, a lot of lapidary stuff they sell there. Um, I was able to pick through the rocks and pick out the crazy lace I like the best, so that was kind of fun. So these are you know about that big. Um, if anything, I wish they were a little smaller and maybe more rounded so they wouldn't catch each other. But I think this will be okay. So I'm going to use this as filler. I say filler like it's not going to be awesome rock when it gets done, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's, it's all going to be valued when we get finished. So, just throwing some of this around the outside. I'm picking out some of the smaller pieces if I can. Try to leave the bigger ones behind. I'm not putting these in because they're a little bigger. Uh, so, I might put them in later on as stuff gets a little bit smaller and I have more room. All right, almost there. I have a whole other box of this, by the way. I bought 25 pounds of it because it was cheaper if I bought more. So uh, there we go, that should be about right. Uh, I'm really hoping this moves around in here, and it, it may not, this may be overfilled. So it's not gonna hurt anything if it doesn't move around. I'll just have to start it over with something different as filler. So I'll put those in there. I'm gonna put in water. Yeah, I need a little more water. Okay, so there's the water right down here. Um, it's down a little bit from the rocks. Uh, I know you probably can't see down in there very well, but it's down maybe an inch from the top of the rocks. More than an inch down from this one, because it's so, so big. And I'm going to put in, since it's a 12 pound barrel, I'm going to put in 12 tablespoons of grit. 
and I know that 12 tablespoons is three quarters of a cup, but I don't have a cup measure, so. All right, so I'm just gonna button this up and put it on the tumbler for uh, one week, and I'll just be checking this each week to see how it's progressing, and uh, go from there. You, but I'm kind of excited to see what's in here. I haven't looked yet. Oh, my top got a little hole in it, so I guess that needs to be replaced. Oops, made a mess. All right, let's take a look at this. Definitely had some grinding take place. Isn't that cool looking? A little bit afraid it wasn't going to do real well with all those kind of sharp rocks in there and being so full, but wow, it's made a big difference. A long ways to go, but good start. All right, I'm going to rinse this off, um, clean the floor up. This lid, one of the things I like about Lortone tumblers is these lids eventually wear out. They last a long time, but when they do, all the gunk stays inside. Nothing leaked out of the tumbler. So I just throw this away and replace it, put a new one on there, and I'm good to go. So anyhow, uh, this is all going back in. Load it up just like I did last time, fresh grit, and we'll let it run for another week and take a look at it then. It's been two weeks now and this is my filler material. I'm almost as excited about this as I am the star of the show. So we'll just take a quick little look at these. Just, uh, just so you get an idea what this stuff looks like. Look at the pattern in there. So this is, this is really cool stuff. Anyhow, that's, that's not what this is about. So we'll, uh, move on to the, main star of the show which is right here and this is looking just awesome it's got you know probably months to go here it's not going to be ready anytime soon but lucky you you're watching a video wherever all the time is going to be compressed into uh well shorter than months i'll tell you that okay back in it goes all right, uh, this has been in the tumbler now for 30 weeks, unless I forgot to mark down some weeks, but it's uh, it's got some big cracks. I'm trying to keep it wet for the next stage, but there's some huge cracks that are just never going to come out of it. Um, I've been meaning to cut this whole end off for months. Uh, it was winter, now it's summer, uh, so that was an excuse, and then I've just procrastinated. So I've decided I'm going to put the whole thing in uh, the tumbler and polish it. Uh, it's going to be in a rotary tumbler. I'm not going to show you all the details, it'll be in with some other rocks, but I'm going to run this through and just polish it as is. I'm keeping it wet because if there's any little uh, grit or anything in the cracks, uh, I don't want it to dry in there and not come out. So uh, I'll see you in a few more uh, weeks and hopefully we have a polished rock at that time. Well, it's done. And it looks just awesome. Check that out. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's got a great shine. This is completely dry. Uh, it, it looks wet. That's the, it's the idea of tumbling it. Uh, it looks wet when it's dry. So there's no coating on this. It's just really, really super smooth. So after the last time you saw this rock, I tumbled it for six more weeks. I did two weeks in 220 grit silicon carbide. Then I did two weeks in 500 aluminum oxide. And then I did two more weeks in aluminum oxide polish. Uh, the polish was from the rock shed. 
Uh, both the Rock Shed and Kingsley North sell really good polish. Not all polish is equal. Um, there's some polishes out there that just, just don't work very well. There are little speckles in that area there. That is so cool. I'm not thrilled about these cracks in here. Uh, I know a lot of you think that I'm crazy for worrying about stuff like that, and you think it adds character. Uh, but on a rock like this, it's just so awesome that I don't mind those. <laughs> so it's, it's worth having a few cracks. And then back here, there's kind of a crystal vug. Uh, that's not bad at all. I don't. I like that. Uh, the crystals did get ground out a little bit, at least up near the top, because I was I had some pretty small ceramics in there. Down inside there, you might be able to see there's a little more crystal look to it. Wow, that is so cool. Um, one uh, casualty of this rock was the ceramics that I used just got really beat up. And actually a few of the other rocks that were in tumbling with it uh, at the end, they were all looked nice when they went in, and some of them did chip a little bit. Uh, not very many, uh, but the ceramics, I was picking out all kinds of little broken ceramics. So it's something that big in a 12-pound rotary barrel. Uh, that just keeps hammering on stuff, and uh, it does take its toll. I even like the black and white side. Looks like some uh, fractal or something. Well, if you like this, you want to see more uh, tumbling videos, I put together a little playlist for you of some tumbling techniques. So you can do your own. So check that out.